Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Sovereign Chill. He's Lewis and you are Kev. We are into the second episode of the hugely amazing, just spectacular Band of Brothers uh, Band of Brothers series going through part two. Um, what did you think of the first one? The first one, amazing. We will get into that, but yeah, mm -hmm. this one's part two. Day of Days. So what do you think, like, you enjoyed most about the first one? I just liked seeing the training. The training? The training. Always good. Probably good, yeah. Brutal? Very brutal. But necessary. Because, mm -hmm. like, they had to, like, crawl through the air, uh, the thing with all the blood and... It'll have been just, like, pig or something that have just butchered. And it'll sort of have been rotten flesh, stinky. Yeah. They've just got to get used to, like, climbing through all of them intestines and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. And the climbed up Kurahi. Kurahi! Yeah. But yeah, I mean, out of everybody, out of all of the, you know, the different regiments uh, in the Airborne, they seem to be w the ones that were getting mm -hmm. the brunt of the shit, yeah. shall we say. The wrong end of the stick. Or the right end. Because, like what Sink said, it's like he ended up fielding one of the best, mm -hmm. one of the best groups the most polished groups. And do you think that was why? Mm -hmm. Because he was that way inclined? Mm -hmm. you know, up for debate. I think possibly. That type, that level of intensity, that level of brutality almost, bordered on brutality, kind of forged them into the, that, that kind of close-knit mm -hmm. group. You know, I think, I think so. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we found out about Bill's brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then they've all they've flown off in this episode's Day of Days. Day of Days. What do you expect? I expect carnage. 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 Do you want to just leave it at that? And we go into it? Thanks for watching. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Yeah. If you enjoy the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah. And we will put a... Uh, like, if you haven't seen the first one, we'll stick a playlist to go back. Also, we put the full-length reactions to this over on the Patreon. If you want to watch the full-length reactions, completely and utterly fine. Oh, my God, it's Dave Days. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm feeling a lot of things. I can't wait for you to start getting used to all the characters. Standing in the door, I could see the lights on the drop zone. The pilot gives me the green light. I'm out the door. I broke his chin strap that we had on this. I came from the sky. We hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. <sighs> Everywhere. Dude. Uh, what you accepted. How do you prepare yourself? Mentally? Each man must do that himself. You know, and we lost a lot of people that night. But uh, you try to put it all on your mind. Jesus, mm -hmm. you can see how long later it's been, and it's still affecting them that badly. So many years later, so it goes to show how vile, vicious it was. Mm -hmm. Would you be shitting yourself? Mm-hmm. Very much so. Like, bricks would be coming old. You'd be checking yourself, rechecking yourself. You just want to hope that you're training just, and, you, and you just get lucky. Because there's going to be bullets zipping past you. Mm. And you, we all made of flesh. You get hit with a round, it's going to go, it's going to go in you. Pitch black. Mm-hmm. Up you get, boys. Everything you train for. Mm-hmm. Let's go, boys. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the fight, boys. <laughs> The back of the plane. No, it's gone. The one of them. Gone. Go, go, oh. Oh. Fuck 
fucking Jesus! Now you've got to be careful of ships going to be hitting your own ships. Oh my god. See that? The way they do that with the camera. Where's the goddamn DC? Slow down! We gotta get some altitude! Speed. Oh! in the fucking mm -hmm. head. Just get out. Yep. Look at that. Some of them didn't even make it out. I don't think that's the correct... <laughs> You sir? Flash shit. Follow me. They're just where would you you wouldn't even know where you were? Do you have a weapon, sir? Just my knife. God. Who's that? Lieutenant Winners? Is that you? Oh thank God. Mm. On some boys. So clever. Mm -hmm. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. We're four hours away from when we need to have it secure. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. Nice. Mm -hmm. Are you? Marky. Oh, some of the boys. Hey, fellas. Hey, little boy, okay? okay? You and Hall are prime. Who the hell is Hall? Unbelievable. You'd be so nervous, wouldn't you? Mm hmm Lighted. Go. Guard here. <sighs> that far away. My command, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <sighs> Quaker. He's lost the plot a bit, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move out. It's just about his brother, I guess. Mm -hmm. You see him? He just sat there. He didn't have a weapon. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. <laughs> if that makes anything like as if that makes someone like in the wrong. Wait. This episode kind of what you expected. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a power, he's got a airborne thing on. Mm-hmm. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. I know it seems harsh, but Mm -hmm. You've got to just, you've got to get it. You okay? Got to do it. Well, let's go. I see though his legs all bent back. Ugh, yeah. fucking hell. Hey, I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger. So I got first dibs, okay? <laughs> Things have started, let's go. Let's move it out. My name's Hall. That's so. Let's move out. His brother got it at a casino. Found out before we jumped. Morning, sir. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? Popeye, did you hear this? I'm from Astoria. Wow. What gives? What are you doing in a kraut uniform? My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Join up in 41. 
You're shitting me, right? Stop fraternizing with the enemy. Get over here. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. I was born easy. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, they could have been mates. Easy company. This cowboy from Texas. Manhattan. Why we get your tenants? Got something to do with that? Yeah. Lieutenant Mia. No one's seen him or anyone from this plane. You got some cigarettes? Hey, keep the pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was at Monarch tooling propeller shafts. No kidding. A hundred miles from each other, working to practice the same job. We're waiting all here. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll see you around. Yeah. See you around. Space doesn't mess about. You guys know where Easy Company is? Well, Major Strayer wants Easy Company CO up front. Well, I guess that means you, Dick. Come on, son of a bitch. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's just brutal, any. From Cloud 88, up ahead, up ahead and to the right. It's getting really close now. Super close. Now they're right between us and causeway number two. I guess is they're doing some terrible damage there. The guns can be so far away. You can just fire the guns onto the beach from like so far. Fuck people right up. Been spotted in a field down the road a ways. Major Strand wants to take him out. Firing on Utah Beach. Plan on a third and a fourth. The Germans are in the trenches with access to the entire battery with machine gun cover in the rear. How many crowds do you think we're facing? No idea. Cheers. We'll take some TNT along with us. To spike the guns. And how would he know? We'll be making the main assault. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's pack it up. Say, yeah, uh, Garnet is happy with that main assault. Say, yeah. See you around, all. He just wants to stick with them now. When you see we captured the first gun, I want you and your TNT as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Captain, second squad, move, let's move! It's very, like, dark, isn't it? Like, the, yeah, the colours are very faded. Yeah, low colour. Very low colour, but, like, very gritty and very realistic. I mean, look at the size of them cabbages. Get yourself well positioned, boys. I hear them talking. They'll draw their fire to the right from the truck. Okay, go. Right. Dude. I know, right? Nerve wracking. So good, though. It's so good. There, attack like your little dickhead. In the tree. Nice! Oh. oh, I got that tree like. You know where you are now. Go on, boys! <laughs> yes! Oh! oh, oh yes. Tech light, you little rat! Look at that man, camera work there, it's fucking outstanding. Yes, Bill. I'm sorry, sir. Go, Joy, roll out, roll out. Oh. What lucky bastard, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh, he fucking blew his ass off. Oh. <laughs> In, bang, bang, move. I can't believe I fucked up my ass, sir. Come on. One, two, three. All right. 
Dropped his own grenade. <laughs> Again. Out you go, son. Oh, brass knuckled. Oh, they're not waking up for at least half an hour. Yeah. Come, Jay! Must be doing something right. Look. God, I'm so confused. I'm firing on the third gun. One of those dead crowds has a loser. Oh, why, why don't you? Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> now you stop firing. Shit. Christ, they must think he's a medic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Zigzag. Look out your freaking Luger. You want us to go get it for you, stupid mix? Mm. Hey, right, Hiya, cowboy! Cut your fucking Jimmy trap, gonorrhea. It's alright, that kid. <laughs> it's alright, that kid. I love that. Oh. Did this destroy in the gun? It's all that matters. Wow, man, I love the way that the, the work this camera. Yeah. Just immerses you in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hall. Keep your head down. Keep it down. Jesus. Another one down. Okay, you're dead. Bye. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Ah, fucked. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, his face blown on. Fucking. It's back down away! Do we know that? <laughs> that is. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Spears? <laughs> you already seen Spears in action. <laughs> oh. oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sir! I had trouble getting through that first field. We're gonna need it in the next gun. Once it's blown, tell him to pull out. No! I think we need artillery or maybe mortars might do the job. Crack and work by Winter's not like. Mm. <sighs> Go my way. Sure. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> nice ride you got here, Nick. Do the work before the men. <sighs> Look at all the blood in oh that. Oh my oh. god. It's all the what? I don't even know what that is. By nightfall, 2nd Battalion had secured San Marie Dumont. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, was still scattered all over Normandy. We had an hour to rest and scrounge whatever food we could. Jesus! Let me out of here. Light! How we doing, Malark? We're doing good. Doing good? Yeah. If you have a reservation someplace Malark, else. <laughs> if you have a reservation <laughs> someplace else. Jesus. Christ, give me some air. <laughs> Evening. 
Hello, sir. You die in here? Yeah, I'm lucky ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Oh. Mm -hmm. Joe, the lieutenant, don't drink. It's been a day of first. Dude. Oh, nice. Don't you think, Garnier? Yes, sir. Brilliant. Unbelievable that was. Not a Quaker. <laughs> <laughs> Even my guess the county's probably a Mennonite. You know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I lost a man today. A John Hall, New Yorker. He's a good man. Man. Not even old enough to buy a beer. <laughs> I sent that map up to Division. I think it's gonna do some good. Every gun. I mean, obviously there'll be some that's been added and some that's been blown up, but if it had the majority of guns there, it's that intel's just insane. Oh my god. That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. And if somehow I managed to get home again, I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. For destroying the German guns at Burkhardt Manor, the following medals were awarded. Hendrix Malarkey, Pleasure Toy, Lipton Petty, Renian Wynn, Silver Stars to Compton, Garnier and Lorraine, and a Distinguished Service Cross was awarded to Lieutenant Richard Winders. Easy Company's capture of the German battery became a textbook case of an assault on a fixed position and is still demonstrated at the United States Military Academy at West Point today. <laughs> oh my! Ladies it and is. gentle Lewis. What was that? What do you think that? of that one? What do you think of that one? Unbelievable. The first, episode, the first episode was obviously the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. As soon as D-Day approached, and you, know, you knew that episode was going to yeah. be big and brutal. Um, what did you think of it? I loved this. That was crazy. Intense. In very intense. Um, the way, um, I know I keep saying it, but the way they shoot this, it's very, I mean, I know you haven't seen Saving Private Ryan, but it's very Saving Private Ryan-y. Um, the way the, the way the camera work is held, the way the, sh the way it's shot, the way it isn't fully colour. It's like it's as if the colour's been kind of taken down yeah. to like fifty percent, and they like saturated, so you can't. It, it's very mild, mm. oh, um, no, man. and just the acting's been great, uh, and the fact that it's real, like you say, all that there at the end mm -hmm. with the all when it when it says it, that's you know the real people at the beginning talking. They're talking there about like, but like you know the the crosses that were given out, given to the real people. Mm -hmm. and it just gives you kind of an insight as to what the, what the kind of went through. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, just when they were in the trenches mm. and like fighting and just like, it's it hits more, like it hurt, like it you feel it more because it's a, you know it's a true story as well. Of course. Like yeah. And you know the the hero doesn't always win. You never know who's going to get hit at any time. Mm -hmm. It kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat with it being true. Yeah. You know? Uh, as I thought it was amazing. I loved it, yeah. Mm. Crazy good. I just, I mean, how how brave would you have to be to, to go through that? And not only that, you're not even old enough to buy a beer. You're not even 21, 19, 20, you know? Only a few years older than you. Mm -hmm. There was even like sometimes people would lie about their ages and enter the the go in when they were sixteen. Mm -hmm. You picture going over and doing that in a year's time. No. You know, Dude. just blows your mind. Unbelievable. That's crazy, man. You know, but that's what these people were made of. That's when war when war hit and you know the call came. Uh, these were the these this this is what made. But then again, there wouldn't have been in this group. Had the had the not had that metal because of the training. The training was so hard that only the best got through. Mm -hmm. Like the cream of the crop got through. If you didn't get through, it's like it's like every 
um, military, especially, you know, like a special forces um, as well. Unless you were the cream of the crop, you didn't make it, mm -hmm. you know, with, uh, you know, the Hell Week and all that stuff, the ability to go through, the, the you know, the British SAS, uh, what they have to go through. Uh, you know, so if, you, you, if you've got any kind of weakness, it would get, you, you, it would soon get found out. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, they're a, a, an extremely special group. Yeah. So only two episodes in, son. There's ten in total. Two tenths of the way through. Exactly. So you're looking forward to the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very oh, much for watching. Barrett, obviously, he's enjoying it. I, I'm loving watching it again. Um, we will put a playlist for the first one that we saw below. If you want to go back and watch that one, uh, leave a subscribe button up there. Yeah. Yeah. See y'all very very soon.